when when you're trying to commit time to fitness, a lot of people think of three hours a week, you know, having to go out and walk around the block for an hour at a time. It's not really true. If you're able to ramp up the intensity of your exercise, you can get a lot done in as, in as short as four minutes uh, working out per day. Can you give me an example of like, what's a, this is Shelly here. <laughs> yeah. What's like, what would be like a four minute uh, workout on the road? Um, what we would do for a four minute workout would be try to do something that's, that's got a lot of full body movements in it. Um, maybe combinations of exercises, things like burpees, jumping squats, um, push-ups, um, and trying to eliminate rest period in between those things, uh, keeping things as intense as possible. Um, you can do things where you work for 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, um, really, really hard through through two, three, four exercises, and really in four, five, six minutes, you've got a great workout that's actually had a metabolic effect. Um, and you're done for the day. What do you mean by metabolic effect? Maybe a real quick um, explanation. Having a metabolic effect is, is creating a disturbance um, within the musculature and taking the body into a state called EPOC or excess post-exercise oxygen consumption. Um, what we want to do is make sure that you're having to pay back for the activity after you finished it. If I go and I walk for four minutes and stop, I don't have to gain any ground after that. But if I'm sprinting intervals for four minutes, um, I'm going to be recovering for that, from that for hours and hours and hours, and that's what we call the metabolic effect. And is that when some fat, fat loss occurs? That is when fat loss occurs, and it, it occurs over the long term. It's not just an acute fat loss by that day, and, and that's an important consideration. When you're looking at your, your training, it needs to be focused on looking at what's happening on a weekly basis or all day long rather than what's happening within the framework of that workout. Um, the training that really works for fat loss is the kind that causes you to have calories burning after the workout occurs itself and have an effect on your resting energy expenditure. Okay, great. So you're saying, basically to wrap this up, you're saying four minutes of exercise, you will benefit from that even though it's only four minutes if it's high intensity? Yeah, and we've, we've even seen people do two minutes of really intense workouts and, and get, get good results from it. Um, again, it's, it's all about saddling up and doing something that takes you way out of your comfort zone and then spending time recovering from that. And that little amount of caloric expenditure that comes during the recovery is where we really see people see ground uh, ground gained in fat loss. Okay, now that's that's great. Who doesn't have two minutes or five minutes, right? Right. Okay, thanks a lot.